Welcome back. You might just head to the pharmacy to pick up your prescriptions, but your pharmacist can be much more than that. And this morning, we are joined by a local pharmacist, Dr. Thomas Callista, to learn more about how they can help you. Good morning. Thank you for being Good here. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, so I know that I always bug my pharmacist with all yeah. sorts of questions, especially mm -hmm. when buying even just over-the-counter drugs. Mm -hmm. um, what do you find to be the most common thing that people ask you about? Uh, that's a great question, um, and especially this time of year, we get many questions in the pharmacy about cough and cold products, um, issues relating to the flu, influenza, as that season rolls around too, so a lot of different products available, even, yeah, over-the-counter and by prescription combination products involving a lot of different medications that, yeah, if used inappropriately can potentially be unnecessary or even dangerous. Yeah, it can be tough to diagnose yourself when you're picking up those yeah, over-the-counter um, drugs. So what what things do people not ask you that you wish they would? What what are you a source for? Uh, well, first and foremost, proper dosing, actually. A lot of people think just because it's an over-the-counter medication, it's not potentially dangerous, that it's not a serious medication. Uh, but that is very true. There's a lot of combination products so you might be getting medications that you're not even aware of in combination. So, uh, yeah, we'd love more questions about proper dosing, timing of dosing, um, maximal daily doses, you know, things to help making, making sure we're using the medications appropriately but also safely. And I know you are talking to me a little bit in the break about um, also helping folks who have chronic illnesses like diabetes. Yeah. How do you become um, helpful in that regard? Well, absolutely. You know, as you know, being in the pharmacy where the medications are being dispensed, it's often a location where the connection between, you know, the healthcare team, whether it's the pharmacist or their physician, um, nurses, and, and the patient themselves. You know, we get a lot of interaction with our patients on a more regular basis than sometimes the physicians do. So it gives us an opportunity to identify um, areas we need to intervene earlier, um, facilitate that communication between the patient and their prescriber to help identify things and prevent issues from even becoming a problem. I think a lot of people just think about talking to the pharmacist when they're actually in the pharmacy. Yeah. But you were saying, call them, give them a call. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Um, there's a pharmacist on duty every single minute that the pharmacy is open. Um, and believe me, they're more than happy to answer any questions you might have. We'd much rather have you, you know, take that extra step of caution call, double check, rather than doing something that might be inappropriate. Some great advice. Definitely. Thank you so much, Dr. Kalissa. Yes, thank you. Um, and for more information, you can always head to our website, wtnh.com. Just click on that on-air tab and pull it down to the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section.